Yo, what's good, YouTube? I'm back with another reaction video, and we got Larry Legend, Pistol Pete, and Dave Collins played together. So I see when I see the Larry Legend and Pistol Pete, man, I've never seen that before. But uh, yeah, man, let's get straight into the video, man. Appreciate all them support. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button, and let's get straight into the video, man. Got an instrumental mixtape dropping June 23rd. June 23rd, be dropping on this channel, man. So look out for it. It's coming soon. Coming soon. Coming soon. But let's get straight into this video. Lost man. And then Denver and Kansas City, the second game. They're starting at forward. He leads the NBA in shooting percentage, Richie. His uh, six or seven foot shot is still working, and there's the bird. Could be uh, rookie of the year and maybe most valuable player. He's also the leading scorer on the Celtics now, 21.5 points a game. Dave Collins, who's been back in action for actually for about a month now, and Bob Ryan, the fine writer for the Boston Globe, tells us the last three or four games, he's really come all the way back. Had a great game in the Garden uh, in New York. Archibald starting at guard, uh, and Pete Maravich, who scored 31 the other night in uh, Connecticut. Archibald, as you can tell, has uh, the heavy glasses on because he had a scratched cornea. I Tyler jumping, and he can jump. And it's Boston with the ball. Corn Brett Maxwell. Archibald to run the show. Collins on top. Maravich is free. Reverses it up and is fouled. So all of a sudden, Maravich got away from his man. Back toward was under the basket and was fouled. You know, I've uh, got to correct myself again. It's Kelsa because Hubbard is uh, on the injured list with uh, Ken Henson. So now we've got it straight. We've got Kelsa in the game, who again is hasn't played since March 4th and has had a severe case of the flu. And before that, Gregory was really playing well. He's played a lot since Lanier left. And the rookie at times is uh, three, the Celtics by one. Collins got inside. Archibald, nice pass to Bird. Boy, did they play the game. He put that ball up left-handed. Collins, who can hit that shot. 13-8, the Celtics by far. Pistol Pete now gets it underneath him. Well, he's fouled. Good pass by Maravich. Watch his feet. Watch Collins' feet and see what happens. There, he's planted pretty well. He starts moving. Sets, sets the, the pick. pick. And he takes it. He got hit low in the abdo abdomen. And uh, down he went. He's more than, I don't think it's anything but a blow to the abdomen. And he's shaking his right knee a little bit. But that might have hit the floor when he went down. Dave is tough. Uh, he'll shake it off. They wanted, uh, Bill Fitch wanted some kind of a foul on the offense that time, or rather the defense for charging into Dave Collins, but the pick was set legally, and you can't legislate how hard the man comes in. He just got hit in the wrong spot, flexing his right knee, so more damage there. Maravich. He said that in Eunice. Yep, he's looking around, sees Maravich. Tipped that of bounds. Good call. Uh, fans don't like it, but it was a good Bird call. told, uh, again, Bob Ryan of the uh, Globe uh, around in November after he'd been in the league for about a month, he said to Ryan, Ryan asked him what he thought of the NBA. He said, you know, they play a pretty good brand of ball here. <laughs> French Lick, Indiana, has yeah. arrived in the NBA. Celtics by 17. Here's a three-point try by Bird. Collins, high off the board. That's been a pretty good battle, Collins and Tyler. And it was last touched by Terry Tyler with two seconds remaining in the quarter. Oops, and the inbounds pass. Got a two-shot foul, now he's got hit in the face. That's an automatic two-shot foul, foul before the ball came inbounds. Before the ball was released by the player out of bounds. Pistol, we were kidding him before the game, and uh, he said he's not going to get a haircut until he scores 50 points. That hair might be down around his waist. <laughs> but we never know. <laughs> well, we had a great uh, individual performance here on Thursday Night NBA Basketball when Phoenix came in here. And Westfall had the great game, Rich. He had uh, 47, was it, or something like that, which is still the Silverdome record. Maravich is shooting for his 10th and gets it. 
main differences between this year and last year in addition to Larry were, of course, the, the uh, signing of ML Carr, who gives you uh, a sixth man type of, of effervescence. He fits in so well to the Boston tradition of being a sixth man. Uh, he can play small forward. He gives and he picks the game up. He can. Yeah. <laughs> Time out real quick. Does anybody remember uh, what's the Denzel Washington movie called? When he used to had that pill or something, I feel, oh, I can't think of the name. I think it was like Hustle or Hustle. I can't forget, but he looked just like that guy that was in that movie that played that police officer. I just looked right at him. He just gave me the flashback. I said, man, I can't think of that Denzel Washington movie. Damn, I can't think of it. was called, uh, I think it was Hustle or something. I forget, but he looked just like him. <laughs> And play a little bit of guard and he's got a great personality and he relishes this role he feels like a, a gunfighter coming in or, or, or a cavalry officer or something he just loves this whole idea of being plugged into the mystique tiny archibald has made a great comeback he really is the nba comeback player of the year because i would for one was willing to drive him to the airport the last day of the season and never <laughs> never see him again only bill fitch had faith that tiny could ever play uh, and be a good player in the nba again dave cowens has got himself back to 85 percent say of his old self as opposed to the 50 percent he was last year has maravich picked up any uh, slack that might have been missing uh, Lar Maravich was gotten so he could give them one more perimeter shooter, one more veteran they could rely on for some offense when the tough games come and the playoffs come, and perhaps a player that could run the offense in a Tiny's, in Tiny's absence. So far, he has not picked up his old ball handling and floor vision, but he has got his shooting, as you can see. Uh, he's coming off a 12 for 18 game. He had a strong first quarter, and he's giving him that. I, he feels he's 50% of his old self, and I have to say that he's probably right because I have to believe he'll be a better ball handler and passer than he's been so far, but he has given him a lift off the bench scoring, and, and that is part of what he was asked to do. Final question. Who is going to win the NBA championship this year, and what will be the two teams in the finals? If I had to go uh, un uh, load my wallet, and Reno <laughs> legally, I'd go with Los Angeles. I think that the big guys motivated. They've got uh, a power team, and I'm not sure if Boston is ready yet as a unit to play uh, and win a seven-game series against Los Angeles or even Seattle. I'd favor either, either of those two over Boston, and I think Boston will get there. I cannot see any Eastern team beating them in a seven-game series. <laughs> well, yeah. he talking a lot too. American gangster. That's what it is. He's look like that guy from American Gangster. <laughs> But that stunning comment, because you really surprised me. I thought you were going to say Boston, but your erudition shines again. Thank you. This was Richie Powers with Bob Ryan, sending it back to Jim Carvellis. Maravich, here's a foul. Damn, I ain't going to lie. A lot of that talking took up a lot of the damn thing. A lot of the damn clips. A and that's his sixth six on and Lee. That's a, foul. that's a bad reaction by Lee. Maravich finally gets that down. Maravich. See what I mean? You find your spot and go to it and they'll give you the ball. Well, Pete had two open jump shots in the press early on and he missed them both. Then the last time he decided to go to the basket, yeah. he got fouled and now he's hit two in a row. For the oh, they're breaking this press again. Look what they end up with. This is not the way it should be done. There's a great pass. And a great block. Tyler. And up and in again by Carr. Ted. Pistol Pete went to Bird, he got it out to Henderson, and right Gerald man. hits it again. Got it to the right man, he passed to Mirovich under the basket, reverses it up and in. And a baby, easy does it, easy does it. Mirovich on a long pass, and now it's a 19 point lead for the Celtics with 3.55 to play. This was an amazing shooter when he can't see the rim, it always goes in. Hamilton misses, and rebounds Rich the other night against San Antonio, Tuesday night on sale. Amazing man. He really is. 34 years old and he's having his best rebounding year in the last five. And they said he was getting old. He may be getting old, but he may be getting better as well. The ball wasn't here. Here's Pistol Pete, bottom of the net. Of course, they picked up Pernson. Uh, six seconds, a three-point try is good by Long. I think he called it two because his foot was on the line. His forward foot just touched the line. Good position. That's no good because it's too late. So Roby trying to get a three-point shot from the right corner to match uh, Mr. Cowens was off the mark, but the Celtics weren't off the mark very much tonight. Hi, Richie. Well, as we said, it's 126 Boston and Detroit 106, the 58th win of the year by the Boston. All right, that was a good one right there. Damn, that, that's crazy to see Pistol Pete and Larry Bird on the same team. That's crazy though. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not sure what the Dave Collins Cohen Collins is. 
Ryo Pistol Pete. Ryo Larry Bird. Of course, we know that. The legend. Legend, legend, legend. I might just do some more Pistol Pete videos, but it's not too much. You know? A lot of stuff is not really, like, too clear, clear, clear. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man. Y'all not keep it short and sweet, man. Appreciate all the support. Got an instrumental mixtape dropping June 23rd. And, uh, yeah, that's about it, man. Got more of the bird videos. Got more videos coming. If y'all got some videos you want me to do, drop them down below in the comments. You know, subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. Turn that bell on. So I'm dropping every day to the end of the year. We're going to keep going, man. I ain't not stop yet. We ain't stopped yet, man. We ain't stopped yet, and we're going to keep going. Keep going. Keep going. But anyway, man, love y'all. I'm out of here. Peace.